more than any other episode of Happy Valley, the end of the fourth episode of the third series has left me numb. It has left me desperate for the next episode, but also wanting to proceed with caution. I'm nervous. And from this point on, there will be spoilers for what happened in this episode, because I can't not spoil it. I absolutely have to talk about it. Um, so there will be spoilers from this point on. And ordinarily, I would go through the episode chronologically and pick out my thoughts. No, I need to start at the end. And I had a really stupid thought. Massive spoilers from now. Um, when Tommy Lee Royce went into the, the back room and started taking somebody else's clothes, my thought was, what is he doing? He's stealing somebody else's clothes. And I kind of had that moment where it took me a second to realise that this is Tommy Lee Royce. Stealing clothes is probably the smallest criminal act he's ever done. Honestly, I part of me thought that this wouldn't have happened, that he wouldn't have got out because they'd planted that idea. Whereas I almost think if Catherine hadn't had that fear, it wouldn't have happened. But at the same time, ever since he started learning Spanish and we saw him um, learning Spanish vocabulary a couple of episodes, uh, episodes ago, I did have the idea that something was going to happen, that he was going to get out possibly flee to Spain. So honestly, I don't know. But I, I, I don't know. I genuinely, for the first time ever, I have no idea what I expect from the next episode or even what I want from it. But I do have to say, yes, I was a little bit surprised that Ryan went, but at the same time, I feel like he didn't go to support his father. I feel like after he learned what he did about his mother's death, I think he went to look at the man that did that to his mother. I think his motivations were different now. And I hope that that is the truth and I hope that that comes to light. But certainly I have, I've got no idea. I genuinely have no idea what to expect or even what I want from the next episode. The fact that we have two episodes left means that things could get even more chaotic. The rest of the episode, I really enjoyed, of course. Um, when Hepworth first went home, I didn't know what to expect there. I thought that they'd find Joanna. The fact that that didn't happen meant I was very curious. Um, Faisal crashing his car into Hepworth or causing the crash with Hepworth's car, I thought was a very clever tactic because he was able to have witnesses and, and certainly with his daughter videoing the um, conflict, he, he was able to have witnesses of this kind of aggression that Hepworth can release at a moment's notice. With something as trivial as a minor bump. The car wasn't totaled or anything. It was a minor collision, all things considered. And Hepworth did go off on one. And I think that having that on record and with witnesses was obviously a really important thing and uh, a clever tactic on his part. But what happened with that and Hepworth's face when he found the suitcase as soon as he clocked eyes on that suitcase, I knew. It, I think it became obvious that that's where she was. Um, as soon as he opened the suitcase, the trauma on his face showed that, that deep down, I think, he did love Joanna. And that, yeah, he treated her badly. But she is still the mother of his children. And I think that he treats her badly. But I think he doesn't know how to treat her. I don't think he has the ability to treat her with love. He shows his love in controlling ways, which is wrong. It's absolutely wrong. But there are people who do that. They don't know how to show love, so it comes out in negative ways. And that's what I think we get with Hepworth, rather than him actively hating her. Um, needless to say, he's going to go... He, well, he's going to get the blame for it, certainly. He might not go down for it. I'm hoping that he doesn't, because if he goes down for it, it shows that the judiciary system doesn't always work, because it means that the wrong people go down for the wrong things and yeah he deserves some punishment for what he's done for her but certainly doesn't deserve to go down for murder so we'll see i'm also really pleased they showed the body because a lot of other document documentaries tv series would um hide away from showing that but actually i think it made it more shocking and it worked very well and i really thoroughly enjoyed the episode honestly for the first time i've got no idea what to expect i'm really hoping that Catherine isn't killed off. I, I, I kind of feel like they won't. I feel like Sally Wainwright will not kill off Catherine Kaywood. She can't. It, it can't happen. I, I won't let it. I have no control over it, but I won't let it happen. But either way, I, I don't think that will happen. But given how shocking the show has been so far, it wouldn't surprise me. 
but then at the same time, what happens with Tommy Lee Rice? Is he caught? I don't know how he could possibly be caught unless he tries to get hold of Ryan. Ryan leads the police to him, as I feel like now that Ryan knows what's happened to his mother and knows that Tommy Lee Rice is far worse than he could even imagine, um, despite what he experienced with him when he was younger, I feel like Tommy Lee Rice thinks he's now got a friend in Ryan and maybe will tell Ryan his whereabouts and Ryan will lead the police to him. I don't know, that's my prediction. Other than that, maybe he'll sail off into the sunset, Catherine will get her leaving due, but she'll be always looking over her shoulder. There's always room for another another series, but with Tommy Lee Rice off in Spain or wherever he goes, I think that would be a, an interesting way to end it because he's got up scot-free. There's still that tension there of he could come back, he could come back at any moment and, and kill Catherine, but at the same time, the danger has been removed if he does flee. So I don't know. I have so many ideas for what might happen and the show is so unpredictable. I'll stop waffling on now because this is obviously not helping anything. But if you have any ideas, I'd love to hear them. Honestly, I'm just... It's one, it's, it's one of the best TV shows I've ever seen. I'll be devastated when it ends. But at the same time, I really can't wait to find out what's in store. It really is amazing. <laughs>